I'm gonna go ahead and say this right off the bat. This is probably the best collaboration of all time. Not just year, but all time. When and how or whenever have you seen a beard company do a collaboration with someone like a legend like Mick Foley? When I saw this coming, I literally was like a little kid in a candy store. I had to get my hands on it. And yes, if you have not guessed it already, today we're gonna be reviewing Mick Foley's collaboration with Mythical Beards called Foley Eddie. Now Foley Eddie is simple ingredients, but very powerful. This right here is peppermint and vanilla. The peppermint is gonna be up front and the vanilla is gonna be in the back end to mellow things out. But this right here, literally probably the best peppermint scent I've smelled to date. It's just absolutely amazing. And I cannot wait to describe this to you guys. I do have a special guest today. The special guest is going to tell you guys exactly how he feels about the scent. And I cannot wait for you guys to meet him. I have special guests, no other than Mr. Sacco. Mr. Sacco, go ahead and take it away, dude. Hey, can you guys see me? Hey, easy. Hey, can you guys see me? Mr. Sacco, I need you to back it up just a little bit, buddy. There we go. Uh, just a little bit more. Huh? Huh? I see myself. Yes, so go ahead and tell them what you're doing today, Mr. Sacco. Well, we're going to be talking about Mick Foley's new scent called Foley Eddie. Okay, so what do you think about it? You got to look at the camera, Mr. Sacco. I can't stand when someone tells me what to do. All righty, so go ahead and tell them what you think of the scent. Well, let me grab it real quick. Well, a little bit up, please. Okay, there you go, buddy. All right, can you smell it? Ooh. This kind of reminds me of the North Pole. Wait, hold on, let me get one more sniff. Well, it definitely smells better than The Rock's breath whenever Mick decided to stick me in his mouth. All right, well, that's enough. No need to bash anybody. So, do you like it? Oh, I definitely like it. Let me eat it real quick. Hey, easy, buddy. I said sniff it and tell people what you think of the scent. Such a great guy, I saw her, he's camera shy. I met him at the Atlanta Zoo and I was like, hey man, I'm gonna record a video for Mick Foley. So I was wondering if you'd be interested in being a part of it and he was like, yeah, sure, why not? Anyways, back to the program. We have the Foley Eddie in five different products. I have it in the regular oil lineup. I have it in the Emu oil. I have it in butter, balm, and also a spray, a cologne, a body spray. Literally grab this and everything that I can get because this right here, I don't care if this 10 is 20 years old, if it's discontinued, I'm gonna be having these, I'm gonna be hoarding these and I'm gonna probably sell them on eBay if it's available in 50 years from now. But I got the body spray right here and I have the balm and the butter. It oils in two different blends, so how cool is that? So let me tell you guys about the scent profile. Again, guys, this is not a review on the products, feeling beer, anything like that for Mythical Beards. This is straight up just for the scent. This is a scent review for Folietti. So with this right here, the good thing about this is that you're gonna get the scent profile duration or the strength in both of them exactly the same. This is a thicker oil, just so you guys know. So this is a thick oil. And it's actually, it has a little bit of yellow, yellow tint to it, but not bad. Caster's not going to be the star of the show. It starts off actually with jojoba oil, argon oil, then you have castor, then you have avocado oil, and then of course the scents. So with this one right here, with the emu blend, it starts off with emu oil, jojoba oil, argon oil, castor oil, avocado oil, and of course the scent. So it's thick, but it's not too thick. So you guys know how I don't like very thick oils. With this one, even though we're not doing a review on the feeling beard, I just wanna let you guys know it is a thick oil, but it does work well in my beard. So the scent strength, like I said, in both oils are gonna be exactly the same. Now this right here, guys, straight up, when you whiff it, peppermint, 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 but you do get hints of vanilla. This right here, the best way to describe it, it's like literally a horror movie. And you're like, wait, why is this a horror movie? I'll tell you why. Imagine being outside, 80 degrees. Wind's blowing a little bit, the birds chirping. Next thing you know, you look at your phone and then you see a winter storm rolling right around the corner. 
Hello, we're not even in winter time yet, but however, something is brewing in the air and it's coming your way. Imagine 10 hours later, you open that door, that front door and you look outside and you just see snow everywhere. The wind just slaps you in the face. You're like, my God, it's cold. This is what you're gonna get out of Foliati. Like where it says Arctic Blast, this is literally an Arctic Blast. When you put it on your face, it's like a slap of cold breeze hitting your face. You do get that feeling for about a good 20 minutes before it dies down, but the scent duration on this is a good four to five hours. It doesn't tingle, it doesn't burn or anything like that. You kind of get that wind chill factor vibe on your face. That's what I get out of this. I enjoy this. This right here, probably the best peppermint scent out there that I've smelt. It just works so well, and it's so simple. Peppermint and vanilla. It's just the way that it maneuvers, man. The way that it just works. The first time that I wore this in beard was exactly when I fell in love with this. This right here will always be in my collection. If you have like an, an oil diffuser, you're putting this in there. If you don't feel good at night, if you're congested, this peppermint right here will help you with that. Now, peppermint scents, they help me sleep better at night. I know there's lavender for some people. For me, it's definitely peppermint. When I put this in beard, it just relaxes me. God, I'm relaxed. It's time to sit on the couch or lay on the couch, drink a Yoohoo, play a little bit of Scooby-Doo on the TV, and I'm good to go, guys. But that's it. I just wanted to get on here and tell you guys about my experience with Foliati and how excited I was to get this and how still looking at this and I'm just like, how in the world did Mythical Beards pull this off? But I'm super glad they did. I think it was great for the community. I told him this as well. And just seeing some of my friends on camera with someone like Mick Foley, it really just made my night because I was super excited for them. So guys, literally, if you have not picked this up, if you like peppermint scents, 100% shark approved. You guys need to get it. Also, check out Mythical Beards on Instagram and follow them. You never know who else is going to pop up on their collaboration page. Happy Sunday. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider also subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and watch my previous videos and new videos coming out in the future. But that was it. I wanted to give you guys my expression, my opinion on Foliati. And as always, guys, stay bearded. Duh.